Before her death in 1784, Mother Anne Lee suggested to her followers, provide places for your things so that you may know where to find them at any time by day or night and learn to be neat and clean, prudent and saving, and see that nothing is lost. The building that we're, we're talking in at the moment is a dwelling house in Hancock, Massachusetts, that from its granite foundation to its bell tower was designed and crafted to house 100 shakers. The unique quality of the building is that it provided most of the furniture necessary for the Shakers to occupy the building and use the building. Part of the original design and structure of the building incorporated, and I list, 100 large doors, 245 cupboard doors, 369 drawers, and all were stained a bright orange. Therefore, the building before its occupation was in a position to house 100 shakers. And the only additional requirement was the addition of beds, tables, and chairs. The shakers, before they began to construct the dwelling house, envisioned its use and therein constructed elements that would provide much of the, the, the function of normal furniture. This had the benefit of allowing for greater, greater spatial access, the necessity to keep things as they often wished, clean, dust-free, and the abundance of storage allowed a, an atmosphere of simplicity and purity. The only things necessary to, to finish the building, other than to bring the shakers in, were the beds that they needed to sleep in, the tables they needed to eat at, and the chairs they needed to sit on. Any other furniture that was added to the building would be added as need determined. There are, are several different types of built-ins that can be found in the dwelling house. The, the most common, and they're found in the corners of the rooms, are the typical cupboard over drawers. These extended from floor to ceiling. Hancock in this building really exemplified the, the highest quality of built-in furniture. First off, it was not made of a soft wood. All of the, the, the built-in furniture in this dwelling house was made of butternut or white walnut, which was a much more durable and useful wood. Every joint in every door mimics another. There is a standardization of, of construction detail in this building that is followed from basement to storage compartments in the attic. The drawers had a very unique feature that not only tells us when, when they were made, but who made them. There's a unique feature that was employed by, by two craftsmen here at Hancock by the names of Abner Allen and Grove Wright. And these, these fine cabinet makers had a signature construction detail on the drawers that adorned all of the built-in case pieces. And that is that the sides of the drawers tapered from top to bottom so that basically the interior well of the drawer was a trapezoid and not a rectangle. In the dining room, there are two built-ins at either end of the room, one on the brethren's side, one on the sister's side. These double doors open to what the Shakers called sliding cupboards. These, in fact, were what we would call dumbwaiters and were connected to the kitchen, which sat directly beneath the dining area. These sliding cupboards facilitated the movement of, of food, of dishes, of silver, all of the necessary uh, materials that, that the Shakers needed several times a day 
for their meals, for setup and for cleanup. When not in use, doors concealed them and they were not part of any of the, the known footprint of the room. Thank <laughs> you. 